Hi guys, today I'll be doing a video on how to sharpen a chain, chainsaw chain. First thing I do, a bit of chalk, chalk up one, one tooth. I've actually done these teeth by you because I hit some stone in the ground when I was doing a job and took a lot of the edges off my teeth on this 24 inch bar chain. Um, I used to use the still file kits, they were alright, nothing wrong with them at all. But I've just got more into these Askvana ones. i got to be honest, I like these better. I think they're really good. And the way to put these on, they've got little arrows inside there. Can you see the arrows? So the arrows, here's the front of the bar, over this side, where my hand is, over here. So they've got a face towards the front. It's a 3-8 bar, uh, uh, chain, sorry. So I'll show you what I do. So that way is the tip. So because these were damaged, you've got to take the worst ones back first, as far as they go, get past the damage. And everything else will have to come back to the lowest ones. That's the only problem. I've got to take all the other side off a lot just to match this side, because the one side got it more than the other. And we're ready to run these ones through. But that's as easy as it is. I'll go to one that I haven't done. Another thing I'll show you. I use a vernier caliper for measuring the teeth, the tooth. So I'm pretty much, I know I'm getting all of them. A few mil out is not make much difference. Is the depth gauge. That's what will, will make you have a curved cut. As if they're wrong, because one side's taken off more than the other. So I pretty much set them like that, lock it up, just so it fits over the tooth, lock it up, and you can't go, go wrong then. So I pull it forward, chain break off, pull it forward to the next one. Get my, my vernier, as you can see, that's miles too big. You can see how much I gotta take off that to get the same as that one. A fair bit gotta come off. So watch now. Two, three, four, five. I don't got a cut uh, count, but still more. I'd say another one or two. There we are. Perfect. Look at that. Fitting over there. That's exactly the same. Pull it forward to the next one, and this is we're doing one side at a time. Just turn the saw around then. You get a vernier, so this is a definite, get a vernier for doing teeth. See how much I'm out? I will not drop over the top of there. I'm going to bar, a big bar, you've got to be right. And but I really like these Esquana ones, I've got to be honest, and they fit nice in the in the fuel cans, in the Asquana can, got a little, um, like a, a little toolbox on the side. Let's say one more swipe on there, a light one. But you can see how easy it is, and you accurate it is with this. Look at that, straight through. So you know where you are then. Sorry, you should have gloves on. One thing. All the safety um, conscious people about. A lot of go at me. So best I put them on. Don't even forgot about that. Right. So I've done three. Now my mark is there. Chalked it up. So I've done them. Let me just show you again how much we're out. You see how much got to come off this side. Well, yeah. Five mil. More, that's the same. Look how much got to come off there. Quite a lot, I reckon that's six swipes to start with. Two, three, four, five. I'd give you a lot more now. Eight swipes then, rather two. Okay, one more. 
so don't go too mad. There we are. I was like, that's 10 swipes, this is 11. Today, we'll see how much I'm gonna take off, just because the damage is all on the one side. That's all right. Show again, may I? Look how much you're gonna take off. You're gonna take a lot off. Just because the lot of damaged. Seem to be going down that tough. Don't know why. Why is that then? The chain's got a bit loose for some reason. I think what it was, because this chain hasn't been fitted for a while, the links have got a bit stiff. So what happens is then, when you start pulling like this, they straighten out a bit more. I'll have to tighten it up and pull it under the, the tough there. Well, that just gives you an idea. Also, you don't want to dig down into these links. I'm starting to touch that link there, which is a bad thing. So I'll, I'll tighten the chain and carry on with that. But I'll show you the front how I take down the, the depth gauge. So you take the tough back, the depth gauge has got to correspond and drop down. It has got it on these Ascarana uh, file holders, these little roller blocks. But I think it goes on this way, to be honest, I don't do that much with these. But that's what I can see, it goes on that way. I don't like this, it takes it down too much, it's taking too much off. Definitely taking too much off, so I don't use that. I use one of these out of the Ascarana kit. And all it is, you put it on the, over the top of the the tooth, pull it back to the tooth, a bit awkward there, this, this angle, so I put it on, pull it back to the tooth, and then just forward swipe, and you ever use the spirals forward, and if I'm in your way, that's the problem, yeah, left handed, see you taking it off, so it's going flat, it's going flat there, and what you're doing, you're going to round that off, don't leave that like that, just round that front off. Just round it off, like that. And then do the next one, exactly the same. Put it on, move it back. Like I said, I'm doing this with my left hand, not the best. I don't want to be in the way of the camera. So take that off till he stops. You see how much we've took that tough back, is how much I'm taking off. And then it's just round that off a bit. Honestly, I've taken more than I should off on certain jobs and to really dig in and cut better on softwoods as well they take off more so again on pull it back these 24 inch bars take a bit of time 24 inch chain that is a quick job by hand and then round them off a bit when you otherwise you have a lot of vibration on the wood that's all. I said, gloves on, because these are sharp. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how we sharpen our chainsaw chains. Oh, wrong way. All right. Hope that helps someone. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.